in the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum to all. Welcome to virtual learning system of Pakistan International School Time. Dear students, today we are going to start lesson number four and five because this is a story about Ali Baba and the 40 Thieves, one and two. This is your English A book, open your books and come on chapter number four. Dear students, it's very interesting story about Ali Baba and the 40 Thieves, one. First of all, you listen this story, but you must be read this chapter under the supervision of your parents. After inshallah in the next lecture, we will do the exercises. Ali Baba would go into the forest with his donkey to cut wood and then sell these woods in town to earn his living. One day he went into the forest to cut wood. Suddenly, he realized a group of horsemen coming towards him, and they did not look friendly. They must be thieves. They must hide at once. Ali Baba hid his donkey behind the bushes, and he climbed up a tree. The men came and stopped right under the tree. Ali Baba counted exactly 40 of them. The men took down some heavy bags from their horses. Ali Baba realized that these men were the thieves. The head of the thieves went towards a big rock and started to yell. Open, sesame, open. Suddenly, something very unexpected happened. The big rock slid open just like a gate, and a cave appeared. The thieves went in one by one, carrying the heavy bags. After the last one went in, the gate automatically closed. Ali Baba was speechless from what he saw. After a short while, the rock opened again and the thieves came out. At last, their leader came out. He turned to the gate and said, Close, Sesame, close. The big rock closed immediately and the thieves jumped on their horses and rode off. Ali Baba came down from the tree and went straight to the big rock. He yelled out the words he memorized. Open sesame, open. The gate opened with a loud noise. Ali Baba hesitantly went in. He was stunned with what he saw. Inside was full of gold, silver, valuable fabrics, diamonds, and treasure chests. He looked around, picked up three bags and left. He turned to the rock and repeated what he heard from the leader of thieves. Close, Sesame, close. He put all the bags on his donkey and head home. When he came home, he showed the bags to his wife. She could not believe her eyes. She thought that Ali Baba stole them. Where did you find all this gold? Ali Baba explained to her all that had happened. That made her really happy and they started to unpack the bags. Let's see how much money we have. No, let's dig a hole and bury the gold. Why don't you go out and dig a hole and I will ask your brother Kasim for a measuring cup. 
Ali Baba's brother Kasim was a rich merchant, but he was very greedy. He never helped out Ali Baba. So he warned his wife. Don't you talk anything about the gold. No one must know about it. His wife went to Kasim's house and asked him for a measuring cup. Knowing that they are very poor, Kasim asked right away. What do you need the measuring cup for? You don't have any money. His wife immediately made up a lie. Of course, Kasim did not really believe her. He secretly put a little honey underneath the cup and gave it to Ali Baba's wife. When his wife came back home, they started to measure the gold. And Ali Baba buried the gold he had counted in the hole. After they buried all the gold, his wife brought the measuring cup back. But she did not realize the gold that was stuck underneath the cup. When Kasim got the cup, he looked directly underneath. When he saw the gold, he was shocked. I wondered where Ali Baba found this gold from. Kasim could not sleep all night. When it was morning, he got up and went directly to Ali Baba's house. And he showed the gold that was stuck under the cup. Ali Baba, I thought you were poor. Where did you find this gold? Tell me now. Ali Baba told him everything so that he wouldn't tell anybody else about the gold. If you don't show me where this cave is, I will tell the thieves what you have done. But Kasim... Ali Baba knew that Kasim would do what he said. With no option, they went to the cave together. The cave is right behind this rock. Now let's go away from here. The thieves might come any moment. Ali Baba and Kasim went back home. But Kasim was still thinking about the cave. He immediately took two donkeys with him and went back to the cave. When he came in front of the cave, he repeated the words he learned from Ali Baba. Open, sesame, open! Rock suddenly started to move and the gate to the cave opened. Kasim couldn't believe his eyes. He was speechless about the view inside. The sparkling gold mesmerized him. In a hurry, he started to fill the bags that he brought with as much as gold as he could. When he had no more room, he went back to the gate. But the gate was closed. And the bad thing was that he forgot the words to open the gate. So he started to make up words and try to open it. Open, door open. Um, open rock, open, open wait, open. Whatever he said, the gate did not open. He started to panic. He looked for another gate, but he could not find one. After a short while, the thieves came back to their cave. When they saw Kasim's donkeys, they got suspicious and drew their swords. Open, sesame, open. When the gate opened, the thieves caught Kasim right away and punished him right there and then. So this was the thieves stealing our gold. When it was night time and Kasim did not come back home, his wife got really worried. She ran to Ali Baba's house and asked for help. Ali Baba was also worried about what had happened to Kasim. So she went to the cave and saw the donkey standing right in front of the gates. That's when he knew that his brother was inside and killed by the thieves. He went to his wife and told her everything. They decided not to tell anyone about this. After a while, Ali Baba and his wife started to live in Kasim's house. They started to run his business and helped it grow into a bigger business. They got wealthier and wealthier. During this time, the leader of the thieves realized that the gold in the cave was decreasing every day. 
So he ordered one of the thieves to see if anything suspicious was happening. Go into town and have a look around for someone who recently got rich and started to spend a lot of money. When the thief was walking around the marketplace, he saw Ali Baba shopping with gold in his hands. So he followed him home. Ali Baba went in the house. The thief marked his door. When it got dark, Kasim's wife went out to put fresh water for the animals. And when she did, she saw the markings on the door. She realized that it wasn't for a good cause. So she took a bucket of paint and marked all the doors in the neighborhood. Soon it was morning and the 40 thieves came to find Ali Baba's house. When they saw that all the doors were marked the same, they had no choice to go back. But their leader was determined to find him. He disguised himself and started to walk around the marketplace. He finally found Ali Baba and followed him home. Knocking on the door, Ali Baba answered. I came from a long way. I brought jugs full of olive oil. I heard that you are the richest merchant in the area. Maybe you would like to buy them. Ali Baba invited the little thief home for dinner that night, thinking that he also was a merchant. The thief carried 40 jugs of olive oil to Ali Baba's house, and Ali Baba made his servants prepare a nice dinner table. Ali Baba wanted to host him that night in his home. Of course, he accepted the offer. When Ali Baba and the thieves were dining at the table, Kasim's wise wife went to look into the olive oil jugs. Suddenly, she heard some noises. Should we get out? No, no, it's not time yet. When she found out that there were thieves inside the jugs instead of olive oil, she knew that this was a setup. She immediately went to the kitchen and boiled some oil. Then she came back and poured the boiling oil in each and every one of the jugs. Of course, the thieves silently got fried. midnight, when everyone was asleep, their leader came next to the jugs. You can get out now. When there was no response, he asked again. Are you guys sleeping? When he asked again, he could not get any response. He opened one of the jugs. He was terrified with what he saw. And knowing that he was also going to get caught, he ran away and never came back. In the morning, Kasim's wife told Ali Baba all that had happened. Now they knew that they didn't need to worry about the thieves anymore. And so Ali Baba and his family lived a happy and rich life. Okay, dear students, I hope you enjoyed this story. Now, here I share the words for dictation. The first word is heard, height, climbed, went, scales, buried, borrow, sticking, found, distance, poor, pleased. So these words for dictation, you learn it. First word is heard, hit, or height, climbed, went, scales, buried, borrow, sticking, found, distance, poor, or pleased. So these words for your dictation, so you learn it. I hope you understand this lesson. Okay, okay, dear students, best of luck. Inshallah, in the next lecture, we will do the exercises.